Meghan Markle complained about being mistreated by the British press, and now Kate Middleton is at the receiving end of similar controversy after a recent Photoshop fail. I think Meghan is very jealous of Princess Catherine, Angela Levin said on GB News. If she is going to see that they are being attacked or criticised, I don't think she will be very upset. The Princess of Wales said on Twitter that she altered her family snapshot after Instagram followers noticed a few errors. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused, Kate shared in a message to X, formerly known as Twitter. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. Throughout Kate's recovery, rumors about her health have circulated online, and around the same time, Meghan recently spoke out about cyberbullying on Friday March 8, at the South by Southwest conference. The bulk of the bullying and the abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant, with Archie and with Lily, and with a newborn with each of them, she said, asking, why people would be so hateful, during a, tender and sacred time. It's not catty, it's cruel, she added. Throughout Meghan's time as a working royal, the former actress branded the period in her life as almost unsurvivable. She admitted in the past that she hoped Kate would help shut down the negative headlines about their relationship, but the Princess of Wales never did. The Duchess revealed, during her 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey that she began to contemplate suicide due to the abuse she received. I just, didn't see a solution. I would sit up at night, and I was just, like, I don't understand how all of this is being churned out, Meghan revealed. And, again, I wasn't seeing it, but it's almost worse when you feel it through the expression of my mom or my friends, or them calling me crying, just, like, Meg, they're not protecting you. And I realized that it was all happening just because I was breathing," she added. The mom of two felt as though the firm failed her and didn't prioritize her well-being. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. And I remember, I remember how he just cradled me. And I was, I went to the institution, and I said that I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said that, I've never felt this way before, and I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution.